Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3, which is equal to 2. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to subtract 2 on both sides. So now we have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the variable x to the power of 3 equal a. So now if I plug in a into this equation for x to the power of 3, we get a squared because x to the power of 3 squared is x to the power of 6 minus a minus 2 is equal to 0. So now as you see, we have a quadratic equation. So now if we factor this, we get a minus 2 times a plus 1 is equal to 0. And this gives us two equations. We have a minus 2 equals 0, or a plus 1 is equal to 0. If a minus 2 equals 0, then that means that a is equal to 2. And if a plus 1 equals 0, that means that a is equal to negative 1. So now that we find out the value for a, this means that we can plug this back into this equation. x to the power of 3 is equal to a. So now we have x to the power of 3 is equal to 2. And if we take the cube root on both sides, we get x is equal to the cube root of 2 or 2 to the power of 1 thirds. So this is one answer. And we also have x to the power of 3 is equal to negative 1. And this means that x is equal to negative 1. So negative 1 and 2 to the power of 1 over 3 are our two answers. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 5. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take the log of both sides. So now I have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 5. Now an important property of logarithms is that if we have something in the form log a to the power of b, we can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this would be b times log a. 
So I'm going to do the same thing to log 2 to the power of x. I'm going to move the x to the front of the logarithm. So this would be equal to x times log 2. Now this is equal to log 5. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 2. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to log 5 over log 2. And this is equal to, now log 5 is approximately 0 0.69. Eight. And log 2, this is approximately 0 0.301. So log 5 over log 2 is approximately equal to 2.32. So this is our answer. Yeah.